Hello, welcome to another episode of Old Line Watches. With you as always is me, Jeremy, your old man from the Old Line State of Maryland. Today we're doing a review and a giveaway of this Heritor Becker automatic. Whoop, whoop. But before we dig into that, uh, as usual with the reviews, I'm gonna give a shout out to some of the subscribers and thank them for watching and stuff. Today it's a uh, Voorhees 636, Alvin L, and Paul E. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. All right, uh, before we dig in, I'll do a quick wrist check. Today it is the Glycine ooh, there we go, Lagunar L1000. It's about the biggest watch I own. Almost is a little too big, like. I always go back and forth on it, but I really like it, so it stays. All right, well, without further ado, let's uh, turn it around and get to it. All right, here we are with our December Watch Gang Black Sub arrival. And uh, if you'd like to win this, go head over to the description and see the rules, or wait till the end of the video when I go over them. Either way, good luck and enjoy the show. All right, starting things off. This is a model HERHR9603. Got a case diameter of 43 mil, a lug to lug of 50 mil, lug width of 22, a chunky boy at 14 mil thick, and weighs with the supplied strap at 77.3 grams powered by an nh35 hacks hand winds i'm a little confused because the heritor website description for this watch says it has a 28 hour power reserve but i know the nh35 is usually like a 40 41 hour power reserve so uh i don't know which one to go with on that but that's what we are at. The case is made of 316 stainless and is nicely brushed on all surfaces there. Nice downturn to the lugs. I also like that they, uh, it's kind of hard to see it here, but they, you see how it's a little flattened right there. They cut out a little part of the case so it'll allow the, uh, strap to move without rubbing up against the case or having to extend the lugs further to get the nice compact size there which is very nice it also features a relatively slim bezel which gives more real estate for the dial lets it uh, be the centerpiece it has a flat mineral crystal Got a push-pull crown, 6.5 mil diameter, signed with the Heritor Double H. Got the stainless steel screw down exhibition case back with a basic stat line, stainless steel, water resistant 100 meters, automatic Heritor, and they even signed the rotor. It's a nice little touch without going too crazy. It's on a genuine leather strap that they uh, signed both the strap and the buckle. The leather itself is got some good flex to it. Feels comfy, looks good, matches well with the overall design of the watch. It is a completely adequate strap and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Let's say hi to the dial here. We've got applied Arabics at 12 and six and applied indices all around with the shortened ones at the 12 and the six with Herador printed up at 12 and automatic down at six. Got a print framed date window. It is 
and heading towards 11 o'clock at night. That's why it's starting to roll over a little bit, but I'm not going to mess with the quick set date because that would be a bad idea at this time of the evening. The main part of the dial is a flat black, which contrasts nicely to the white minute track with the fifths of a second marks there as well. We've got loomed pencil style hands and a lollipop second hand and the minute hand and the second hand both go all the way out to that minute track, which is a very nice touch to see. Not everybody does that, but everybody should. It's a little George Michael reference for you there for the old folks. The loom is a, well, it's lackluster, not going to lie, but it's legible. You can see what time it is. You just don't know unless you <laughs> know exactly where your wrist is, where the markers are. Yeah, it's a, well, it's better than nothing. You can tell the time with it at least. It is definitely uh, not the greatest though. Take a looky there. Got a running a four to six seconds fast. Strong amplitude. Pretty good B error. Boy, that NH35. What a workhorse, huh? I'm pretty sure I'm the first person to ever think of it that way. And here we are on my six and three quarter inch wrist. At 43 mil, it is pretty, pretty large on me, but not overly so. Those uh, turn turned lugs hug the wrist well. It, it's comfy. All right. Props and slops. Props. The dial. I'm going to go with it. The uh, big, big dial. The nice contrast between the black dial, the white minute track, the way the light catches on the indices it's a it's a really well designed dial it's handsome it's not busy it's not terribly original but it's classy it works well it looks good another one is the man i can really you can kind of see it there look at the the case has like a little bit of a flat cut right there on each side of it to accommodate the straps, which gave it a relatively short lug width compared to the diameter there, which allows it to sit and fit on smaller wrists without looking too weird or bulky. So a small design choice, but a very thoughtful one that I find to be very, very great for slops. Mineral crystal. Come on guys. It's an automatic. You try to. You got a name. You're trying to build here. Put a sapphire in that puppy. The other slot is a thick boy, 14 mil. Like that's really, really unnecessary for something that's only got an NH35 and 100 meters of water resistance. Like that should be a 12, maybe even 11. Like this is. It's an unnecessary amount of thick. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't sit poorly or anything for it, but it, yeah, just, yeah. That's my, that's my negatives there. All right, let's turn back around and talk some more. All right, so that has been the review of the Heritor Becker. If you would like to own this, you only have to do a few things. Be a subscriber like this video, comment on this video. Um, this is going to be going live on the 4th, which is tomorrow, I'm recording this a day early. Uh, so that's gonna be the 4th. So that's gonna be the 11th, eighth. This will run until the 18th, which is two weeks from now. Uh, it will cut off at 8 p.m. So anyone after and enters after that, sorry, try again. Um, Winner of the previous giveaway will not be eligible for this one. So that's just one person 
sorry. And uh, I will cover the first $15 of shipping, which will cover all of the continental United States and most of the rest of the world. Um, but yeah, I'm, this is all me. I don't have sponsors. I don't have much of anything other than, you know, sometimes I get a couple pennies from an affiliate link or something like that, but it don't, it don't keep the lights on, so to speak. This is all a labor of love, because I love you so much. Okay, before things get weird, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Like, comment, subscribe, bell, algorithms, stuff, things, and blah. All right, well, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Until next time, this has been Jeremy, your old man from the Old Line State, signing off.